Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A where I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, if you do have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video and if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, you get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video, but I do type out an answer in the comment section in the meantime so you do get an answer and you don't have to wait for the video to come out to get that answer. Uh, today I'm answering a question from Felipec260 about prescription lenses. So Felipec260 says, please Mark, talk about corrective lenses, models and options to attach it to your mask. So if you require prescription lenses to correct your vision, then you have, I think it's about six options that range from not needing any lenses at all to custom made lenses fit into like any mask that you like. So if your prescription isn't particularly powerful, then chances are, because of the magnetic, magnetic, the magnifying uh, effects of water, you might not need any prescription lenses at all. It could just be that the natural like magnifying effect of water corrects your vision, um, but that's only up to a certain point, and I can't remember the exact amount, but I imagine it's like plus or minus one, because that's where most uh, prescription lenses tend to start. You don't tend to get any plus 0.5, because the, the water itself just naturally uh, corrects your vision. But if you do, require a bit more help uh, either for like like reading your gauges or your dive computer you can get sticky lenses so these you they're typically sold in a pack of two and you you get different strengths on them and you just peel them off and then you stick them into the lower third of your mask so these are quite good yeah as i said for like checking your gauges the rest of the glass is just normal so for like long range vision uh, you just have normal glass but for reading your gauges they're pretty cheap um, like choice so and they fit most mask designs so yeah you can just get these sticky lenses another one is you can get internal frames there was the Tusa I think they did call it the universal frame kit and that was a uh, it had two little or it was one complete frame it has two little glass oh, I think they were just polymer lenses that you can pop out um, and they had like different strengths of them you had to choose the one that matched your prescription but you can pop the lens out if you uh, if you need to and they had these little arms kind of sticking out of the top and you could like sort of bend and concertina it into most mask designs um, the best were single lens masks because if it had that like bridge over your uh, over the top of your nose with a twin lens mask then the frame would just get a little bit too close to your actual nose and it could press in so single lens masks were, were best for this and that was a, a good choice for um, uh, for some divers um, they were more like all over lenses because it, it held them quite close and it would fill up the, the entire frame. So if you just need it for your gauges, it's a bit much. Some divers I have seen use old glasses. Uh, so old like reading glasses or day-to-day -day glasses. Um, and if you could, they would just break the, um, the arms or the legs off, I forget what they call them. And, and then you're just left with the frame and the glass and then they'd set that into their the diving mask it's okay as long as your mask is like a decent volume you could do that and it's pretty cost effective you do ruin a set of glasses but hey if you're not using them anymore they're just going away sitting in a drawer or something that that option is out there it's by no means the best option uh, because they can like move around so it's not really what they're made for the next getting back into like official ones one of the better ones is replacement lenses so looking at masks like the Tusa Sios uh, the Freedom or the um, uh, the Paragon Tusa Paragon uh, quite a few manufacturers make them the Scuba Pro is it called the Zoom I think uh, 
or the uh, Mares Chroma Up, that there's quite a few. If you look around most mask manufacturers, chances are that, especially the bigger ones, they're gonna have at least one mask where you can swap those, um, uh, those lenses out. Tusa was my usual go-to as like a recommendation because they made a few, the, the, the Cios, the Geminus, the, the, the Paragon, uh, there were quite a few where you could swap the lenses out. And it is just literally like that. You can, you can disassemble the mask, you can pop the glass lens out of the mask, and then you'd buy these replacement lenses that had prescriptions fused into them either in plus increments or minus increments or you could get bifocal i think as well and they would just replace your existing like blank lenses and then you'd reassemble the mask and pff, there you are you've got a prescription mask the downside to these well the upside to these is that it's very quick and you get a decent style mask and you get that prescription and it's relatively cheap however it's it only corrects the spherical reading on your prescription. So if you have, oh, I don't have prescription myself, so I forget all the things that I want to say, like axis and cylinders and stuff. So if you have like too complicated a prescription, but they'll help, but they won't be perfect. They correct that spherical reading only. Um, so if you do have a particularly complicated um, prescription, especially if your left and your right are that different than custom lenses are usually the best way to go it's the most expensive way but it's the most accurate way and what it is is um you you basically buy a mask and in a lot of cases it could be any mask and you send that or take it to one of these companies and you give them your prescription as well and they actually mill out lenses for your mask and then cement it into your mask and then send it back. So you have a dedicated mask. So that way you can pick and choose pretty much any mask out there and any prescription out there and they'll make that prescriptive lens for you. Um, so it's, it's really the, uh, the, the best choice, but of course, glasses aren't cheap so yeah and especially custom stuff isn't cheap neither so yeah it's going to be the most expensive option but it's going to be really accurate to your prescription and your dive mask so um those are the best options most divers go down the like replacement lens for like a two serb seos mask or something and it's it's pretty easy to do it yourself i think they've got a new mask coming out that doesn't require tools but all you need is a um, really a flathead screwdriver to uh, to pull apart a, a CIOS. It is pretty simple once you once you watch a video on how to do it, um, and then you just swap those lenses over. But those are your main choices when it comes to prescriptive lenses on on scuba diving masks. Yeah, you have a range of choices when it comes to prescription lenses in masks. Uh, the the one that, as, as I said, the one that most divers end up is those replacement lenses. You get a dedicated mask that's designed to pop those lenses out. Otherwise, if you do have a particularly strong or uh, or complicated, um, uh, what do you call it, the prescription, then yeah, custom lenses really is the way to go because otherwise you, you're just gonna get annoyed with them. Uh, but it very much depends on your prescription, what, what you struggle with, whether it's gauges or like, I can't even think, oh, like wide angle keeps coming to mind uh, to, to, to view and, um, and yeah, what needs correction or whether it even needs correction. Um, and what mask that you want ideally because it can limit which mask you want unless you go down the real custom lens um, but yeah it is a popular not popular a common question uh, that does get asked um, so yeah it's quite important to uh, to have that kind of video out there um, but yeah you got six maybe seven choices out there on uh, on what choices and um, yeah what's best for you is really kind of up to you and your prescription and what you require uh, if you have any scuba diving questions pop them down in the comment section underneath this video use the ask mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video don't forget to like and subscribe do all that social media stuff over on the scuba diver magazine channel if you haven't already and of course check out our website scuba thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving <laughs>